Welcome to the video presentation on LT and HT line maintenance. In this presentation, you will know the steps involved in maintenance of LT and HT power distribution lines, accessories installed on the lines and electrical switch gears with their components. You will also know in detail about the personal protective equipment or PPE, safety tools and various tools and tackles required to taking up preventive maintenance of overhead lines. Preventive maintenance is carried out for safe and proper functioning of machines and equipment throughout their usable life. Preventive maintenance of distribution lines helps in reducing breakdowns and unplanned shutdowns. It also improves supply, reliability and quality and reduces maintenance cost. Preventive maintenance is taken up in periodical schedule after getting the planned shutdown approvals and permit to work or PTW for a particular LT feeder. Let us see how low tension line maintenance is done. My name is Devraj Kundal, working in BSES Rajdhani Power Limited, BRPL as Assistant Manager. I will show you today how LT line maintenance is carried out. Before starting the maintenance work, we take up certain preparations like checking of tools and personal protective equipment, PPE. Let us look at some important tools. This is a discharge rod. It is used for discharging a line or live equipment before working on the equipment. The front of the discharge rod is known as capsule. In front of the capsule, a pointer is connected. At the other end of the rod, there is clamp which is connected to earth to discharge the equipment. With the help of the hook on the rod and the clamp, the equipment is discharged. There are other important safety tools. Let us look at each of them. Gloves. These are designed to be used for LT lines. Safety harness is worn before climbing poles. Danger boards are used to place on the poles and electrical equipment. These are written in many languages. Here we see one written in English, Hindi and other languages. These are tags on electrical equipment. This is a safety chain used for grounding the line after discharging it. Lockout and tag out tags are placed on the equipment before work is started. They are removed after the work is finished. These are screwdrivers which are used to remove or tighten fixed screws. Pipe wrench. It is used to open or close conduit, GI pipes and valves. The common size is 10 inch. The design of the adjustable jaw allows it to lock in the frame in such a way that any forward pressure on the handle tends to pull the jaws tighter together. They are usually made of cast steel. Nose pliers. This tool helps in cutting and holding wires to bend, reposition and snip them. Adjustable wrench. It is used to open and close nuts and bolts if a spanner of proper size is not available. Common sizes are 8 inch to 12 inch. Adjustable wrenches are designed to provide a wide range of capacity in a single tool and are very convenient. Hammer. It is used for hammering items wherever required. It is important that the wooden handle of the hammer is correctly fixed to the hammer head. It should not be loose, else linemen can get injured. Insulation tape. It is available in different colors, red, yellow, blue and black. HD tape. This is an excellent protective overwrap for terminating high voltage cables. It is good for insulating and splicing high tension electrical connections. CRC spray. It is used to clean the carbonized portion of equipment. Hydraulic crimping tool. It is used to crimp the socket of 630 and 300 square mm. There are also other dies for 150, 95, 50 and 25 square mm sockets and ferrules. Hacksaw. It is a fine tooth saw, originally and principally meant for cutting metal. Tree saw. This is used for trimming trees. You have seen the lockout and tagout tags. They are used in this way. They are placed on the front of switch gear after switching off the equipment. You can see the lineman's name, department, date and complaint, PTW number written on the tag. The lineman can work on the line after this tag is placed. No lineman or officer will touch the equipment when the tag is placed. 
This tag indicates that some work is going on. This is the tree saw used to trim the tree branches. You can see the lineman using the machine for trimming the branches of trees touching the line. LT line maintenance is going on. Here, the lineman who is about to work on the pole is going to discharge the line. He is using the ladder to climb the pole. Before climbing, he wears the safety belt, rope and helmet. The lineman's helper will give the tools and tackles to the lineman with the help of the rope. You can see that the lineman has connected the discharge rod earth lead with a clamp. With the help of the clamp, they can keep safe distance while connecting the hook of discharge rod to line. Now, the lineman has discharged the line by connecting it to earth. Once the line is discharged, the discharge rod is hung on the wire as shown. Once the line is discharged, for more safety, the lineman will short all the three-phase lines with the help of the grounding or short chain. Once the line is shorted, the lineman will start working on it. You can see that the helper is providing D-clamp and a duster with the help of the rope. The duster is used for cleaning and bushings and accessories fitted on overhead line. There is a lot of dust and carbon on the insulators. Here, the lineman is removing the dust from the insulators. After the cleaning is done, the lineman will start working on it. Here, the lineman is fixing the D-clamp, extension loop or godi properly. Then, he will connect the service line with the D-clamp. If there is any carbon or fault in the lines, it affects the D-clamps and our main conductors of the line remain safe. See how the lineman is carefully fixing the D-clamp so that there is no loose connection. Now that the lineman has fixed the D-clamp for one face, he will fix them for the other two faces and the neutral. See how the lineman is fixing the D-clamps to the other faces. During preventive maintenance, dust on the equipment is removed with the help of a blower. Look at how this line man, how is using the blower to clean the dust on LT air circuit breaker, LT ACB. Now the equipment is cleaned with the help of the blower. Now we see the relays for proper settings at the back end chambers are fitted. These are cleaned with CRC spray for any carbon layer that may be formed. Male and female contacts are cleaned by emery paper. And then the ACB is ready for use for operations. Now, let us know about the maintenance of HT 11 kV KV overhead high tension lines. We will see the steps involved in maintenance of HT lines, accessories installed on the lines and electrical switch gears with their components. You will know the details of personal protective equipment, PPE, the safety tools and other tools and tackles required before taking up preventive maintenance of HT overhead lines. Preventive maintenance is taken up in periodical schedules. This is done after getting the plan shutdown approval and permit to work PTW for particular HT feeder for disconnection of power supply. Let us see the procedure of HT overhead line maintenance. Here, we see that the complete HT feeder has already been switched off after availing planned shutdown and PTW. HT overhead line is discharged to the earth and short-circuited from both ends. This is to ensure that no supply will backfeed at working area. Today, we are here for preventive maintenance of HT line. We will perform overhead line maintenance. You can see that the double pole DP structure is surrounded by tree branches. It is difficult to climb the DP structure to do maintenance. We will first need to trim the trees, then check for loose points of connection where the jumpers are burnt and replace them. This is a tree cutter. We will use it to trim the branches of the trees. Now, the trimming is being carried out with the help of saw after climbing on the DP structure. Now, the trimming is being carried out manually around the DP structure. First, we need to remove the branches that are hindering our work. Now, we will carry out the line patrolling to check the visible loose jumpers and joints and set them right. The LT service line cable joint is exposed. The line man is insulating it and then fixing the LT service line cable.
in the process of planned shutdown for HD overhead line preventive maintenance. Here, you can see the lineman is repairing the LT cable joints by tightening the sockets as the insulation over the joint is damaged. The lineman is using LT tape to cover it. In this DP structure, the old type of DD fuses were installed, wherein the barrel cannot be mounted. Here, we are changing it. Hence, replacement of old and worn-out DD fuse units is part of preventive maintenance. After removing the old DD fuse unit from the DP structure, we are going to replace it with the new unit. Observe how we carry out the job. We are replacing the old unit with a new type of DD fuse unit. The new unit has a barrel on it as shown. The advantage of this barrel unit is that whenever the fuse is burnt, the barrel will drop down and you will be able to notice it from a distance. As you can see, we are inserting the fuse element in the barrel. Whenever the fuse is burnt, you can change the fuse element and reuse it. You have seen the DD fuse replacement. Now, you will see how to change the jumpers of DD fuse unit. You can see that the existing leads are completely burnt. Now, we are going to replace them with new ones with properly crimped sockets on both ends. The lineman is fixing the jumpers in the new DD fuse assembly at pole. There are a few old type of DD fuse installed on the feeder. They are yet to be replaced with new ones. The lineman is cleaning the porcelain insulators where rewirable fuse is wound. You have seen how overhead HT line maintenance is carried out. All the loose jumpers are firmly tightened or replaced if found damaged. All the porcelain insulators, pin or disc are cleaned and checked for any hairline cracks. In this video presentation, you have seen LT and HT line maintenance.